Hello everybody. Today is day 25 of our Trad Tune at Lunch series uh, coming to you from Sligo in association with the Hawkesville uh, Theatre. And um, so we're in the last, the final week uh, of this series and thanks so much to so many of you for all your messages uh, that you've been sending in over the last few weeks and your witty comments and tune suggestions and all that. Uh, it's been really, really entertaining and um, we've been bringing you around some of the different parts uh, of Ireland and some of the great composers and some of the musicians that we've been talking about over the last few weeks. And there's so many more. Uh, you could go on and on. You really, you really could. I was just watching a great, great um, Facebook Live concert there, uh, one of the Ireland performance performance series um, with Danny O'Mahony, uh, a wonderful button accordion player uh, from North Kerry, uh, has just been playing there, he's probably still going strong, uh, playing wonderful music, so lots to check out and um, appreciate you uh, tuning in every day, so many uh, familiar names and faces popping up. So today's, um, today's tune that we're going to look at um, Mary Conboy, hello Mary, uh, you, you, you suggested the great Skylark yesterday, which I will definitely get to before the end of the week, uh, that's a beautiful, beautiful tune, but today uh, I was going to play a tune from um, the, the one and only Paddy Fahey uh, from East Galway. It's a su surprise that we haven't found our way to Paddy Fahey um, yet, because I suppose he's a fiddler's dream, um, he really is, and... Um, he has, you know, made such a huge mark, uh, particularly on the fiddle, um, on the last, you know, 40, 50 years uh, of music. He's written so many beautiful tunes, uh, which, you know, brought uh, a very different feel and, and style uh, to the tradition. And Paddy himself, of course, came from a very, um, very musical part of Ireland, East Galway. There have been so many great players uh, from that neck of the woods uh, over the years and a beautiful relaxed style of playing uh, as well which you know stands out uh, when you hear um, the music. Unfortunately Paddy Fahey didn't uh, ever make any commercial recordings uh, but there are uh, quite a number of field recordings uh, of Paddy playing that um, I've had a chance to listen to over the years and he was a beautiful such a unique player you know the the kind of still stillness and the legato feel in his playing was something else. You know, he didn't he didn't drive out that rhythm like so many so many of us do uh, in in the music. It's a very different style, uh, playing and so beautiful and so tuneful. And uh, his tunes that he composed, which are meant to be uh, in and around sixty uh, that we know of, uh, really, you know, kept with that style, uh, that very very melodic style. Uh, of playing. Some of the keys that he wrote in were beautiful as well, particularly suited uh, to the fiddle. So, um, as I said, he's been a, a great favourite of fiddle players uh, for so long and, um, you know, his tunes have been recorded by a lot of great fiddlers over the years. And I'm thinking of uh, Liz Kane, who was tuning in uh, there over the last few days. Uh, Liz and her sister Yvonne have recorded so many uh, of Paddy Fahey's uh, tunes and play them so beautifully and um, you know I've spread, I've spread these tunes wide and far. Of course Martin Hayes as well is somebody who's very well known for having uh, played uh, Paddy's tunes and, and you know it, su it, it suits certainly his style of playing so beautifully. So I'm going to play one of um, Paddy Fahey's tunes. I was going to ask which is your favourite Paddy Fahey tune but unfortunately as many of you will know he only um, call them all by the name Paddy Fahey's. So it's, um, it'd be difficult for you to tell me uh, now which is your favourite because there's no other names uh, on the tunes, but maybe you can write in the first few notes in ABC or something like that. But uh, there's many great ones. Some of them are very well-known, some of them less um, well-known. Um, it's mostly written reels, a, uh, a few jigs as well, and uh, a few hornpipes. Another musician that I remember playing Paddy Fahey's tunes over the years uh, was great fiddle player Eddie Kelly, um, who was, 
you know, well acquainted with Paddy Fahey and uh, lived. Uh, a Roscommon man himself, Eddie Kelly, uh, used to run into Eddie quite a lot uh, many years ago. Beautiful, beautiful musician and uh, somebody who played a lot of Paddy Fahey's tunes as well. So this one doesn't have any name, um, unfortunately, other than Paddy Fahey, but sure, that's, that, that is good enough. And uh, hope hope you enjoy this tune. So that was one of Paddy Fahey's uh, tunes, uh, one of his, his beautiful tunes. He's written so many um, tuneful and melodic um, tunes that are, that are played um, a lot, particularly by fiddle players. And um, of course, Paddy passed away just, just around a year ago now, hard to believe, uh, at the age of 102. What an amazing um, age to reach, you know, and he died. I think it was at the end of this month, uh, the end of May in 2019. So he was a really special, a very special person. Um, somebody I never had the, uh, the privilege of meeting, unfortunately, um, because unfortunately, it seems that he did not um, get out too much. You know, he was a relatively quiet uh, man by all accounts. And um, so I never got to meet him in my travels, which is a shame, but sure. He's left us uh, so much beautiful, beautiful music. And uh, some of the influences that might have been around, uh, some of the other musicians that were around at that particular time, uh, around um, the area where Paddy grew up in East Galway, uh, were Paddy Kelly. Uh, his father, Jack, um, was a well-known musician as well. And um, they, of course, there were many great kiddie bands uh, around at that time as well. The Ockram Slopes. Family Kill, uh, Kelly Band, a great part of the world uh, for music. So um, we'll keep playing these Paddy Fahey tunes. They're absolutely uh, beautiful. And as I said, they bring us to a very different place. So much of our music is, is more buoyant and, and rhythmic and dance-like. But uh, when you play uh, Paddy Fahey's music, it's a, it's a very different, a very different uh, experience. And um, on the fiddle, it certainly brings out that nice legato. Uh, feel in the music. So we'll finish off um, today's um, tune, track tune at lunch with uh, Paddy Fahey's again. I'll play it slowly and then maybe not quite as slowly but uh, I'll hardly play it too fast because the tunes typically suit a more relaxed style of playing. So thanks a million everybody and um, maybe you might share any experiences you have um, with Paddy Fahey's music whether you've played it or listened to it or, or maybe you had an opportunity to meet Paddy Fahey. Um, and I was just thinking there, I, when I was talking about some of the musicians that he, um, that, that Paddy Fahey played with and grew up with, uh, of course, Paddy Carty, the flute player, uh, is someone that uh, I also uh, should have mentioned there. So anyhow, hope you're all keeping well and uh, we'll finish off again with Paddy Fahey's. Thank you. 
Thanks, everybody, and see you tomorrow.